back to the greatest uh, greatest time you can have while wearing clothes. This is a uh, oral stimulant, oral, a audible stimulation for your brain. <laughs> I don't know how you get an oral stimulation for your brain, but I'd like to find out. So, Elon Musk, the guy behind the Tesla, behind sending rockets into space, the guy behind PayPal, offers to buy Twitter for a huge amount of money. This is what digital trends, you can tell when people don't have money, they don't know how to talk in terms of money. They're like, huge amount. It's a huge amount. I don't know what $43 billion means, but it's a huge amount, uh, which is in the first sentence here. Elon Musk was offered to buy Twitter for $43 billion. In a filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, the boss of Tesla and SpaceX described his move as best and final offer, adding that the platform has extraordinary potential that he would be able to unlock. I best in Twitter as I believe in its potential to be a platform of free speech around the globe. And I believe free speech is a societal imperative for a functioning democracy. He happens to be right. And that's not just my opinion. That's That happens to be absolutely... It's what separates the United States from the rest of the world. It's it's the... Uh, uh, the so the ah, Why am I stuttering on this? It's thumbs. Free speech is thumbs. You know what separates us from the animals? Thumbs. All right? My dog, he can't open a can of dog food because he doesn't have thumbs. He can't open a beer either. He has no thumbs. Let's see here. Uh, Musk, who has 81 million followers on the platform, uh, said in a letter he believes the company should go private because of its current form. It can neither thrive nor serve free speech. Yeah, there's something going on with Twitter that's like, I don't know, you get stuck. Uh, their algorithm is really messed up. Um, as a result, I'm offering to buy 100% of Twitter for $54.20 per share in cash, a 54% premium over the day before I began investing in Twitter, and a 30% premium over the day before my investment was publicly announced. Uh... That's a lot. That's interesting. 54%, 43%. So Twitter's worth like $30 billion? Uh, Let's see here. Musk said he was best in final offer and that he not accepted that he will need to reconsider his position as a shareholder. Musk is said to be worth around $230 billion, so the acquisition offer is certainly a realistic possibility. I mean, dude, you're talking about putting in like a, a fifth of your worth. Fifth of everything you have. Early on Thursday morning, he confirmed his move on the company, writing in a tweet, a main offer, and including a link to the filing. Frequent critic, a frequent critic, <laughs> frequent critic of the platform, Musk earlier this month acquired 9.2% stake in the company, making him Twitter's single largest shareholder. They offered him a seat on the board. At first, he accepted it, but then he declined at the last minute. He also spent the last weekend posting a series of now-deleted tweets. Yeah, because every time he tweets, uh, Twitter stock prices changes. Uh, Listening furious changes. He liked to see it, Twitter. From the serious to the absurd. They include turning Twitter San Francisco headquarters into a homeless shelter. Well, nobody's in it. They're all working from home. And adding a long called for edit button for tweets. If you tweet, then we can't see. If you can edit out what you've written, then we can't see your white supremacy postings. <laughs> what a trash world we live in. Oh my gosh. Let's see here. He also suggests adding a verification mark for users who sign up to Twitter Blue. You know what's funny is that's an idea I had. Like, I was thinking, why am I going to sign up for Twitter Blue if, you know, this whole, like, verification deal is, like, so big for, like, twits. And um, uh, they want you to uh, basically dox yourself to do it. I'm like, look, it's not worth it. Twitter is such a trash pile. 
it's um, the people that I follow and follow me over there are really great. But the thing is, like, you go outside of that, and it's, um, I mean, you just go in there and follow, you figure out, find a, a um, follow any. Oh, I'll tell you what. Go to like Marsha Blackburn. Boy, she lights up people. People get so mad at her every time she talks. Follow her account. And uh, when she posts something up there, look at the comments, man. It's just, it's so box dinner comments. And it's just, it's, but it's so awful. I mean, it's, there's no intellectual integrity to it. But, okay, on Tuesday emerged that a Twitter investor was suing Musk accusing the billionaire entrepreneur of costing shareholders money, while Musk himself saved around $143 million as he reportedly failed to notify the SEC of the purchase in the required time frame. Yeah, okay, that's the last paragraph of this. Meanwhile, Musk is up here in SEC filings offering to buy the um, uh, platform. Let's see here, what was it for? Or 54% premium over the day he began investing. So he, this guy down here, I mean, his case is mute, mute immediately by Elon Musk because he's trying to buy the whole thing. He's trying to pay this guy more money. And this guy's going to try to sue him on technicality. That's what's great about the justice system is you look there and you go, well, he offered to pay you more money. You're, you know, it's a moot point at this point. Uh, I don't know how you cost. This is this is low brow economics. It's like, well, if you had told us, then our price would have gone up, and then you'd have bought. Meaning you'd have lost money yourself, and then you'd have bought, and then it gone up more. I mean, these people. It's like Huey, Dewey, and Louie uh, got into uh, Uncle McScrooge's cool. vault, and they all something they can figure out uh, how. Th- economics work anyway all right so um yeah that's it guys you guys have a good day please subscribe (laughs) love you lots i gotta go deal with uh yelling uh coonhound anyway till next time guys stay frosty love yourself cover your six and godspeed